Hi, my name is Zach and I'm a support engineer at Blackmagic Design Singapore office. And in this video, we'll be talking about how to sync your media files to Blackmagic Cloud. Blackmagic Cloud now features a cloud storage where you can sync your media to. So members of a cloud project will be able to download these footages and work collaboratively anywhere in the world. You can set up your cloud project using either your computer or your iPad. I'll be using my iPad, so let's set it up right now. I'm currently running DaVinci Resolve 18.6 and in the Cloud tab is where you can sign in to your Blackmagic Cloud account. You can sign up for a Blackmagic Cloud account through our website at blackmagicdesign.com. A free plan gets you 2GB of storage and you can add a project library for just $5 a month. I already have a project library created in my Blackmagic Cloud account, so let's start by creating a new project. A window will pop up with a few entries to fill in. Firstly, let's give my project a name. My awesome project. This determines the location where media from the cloud storage will be synced to. In order to allow multiple users to access this project and collaborate, let's click on Allow Multiple Simultaneous Users. This lets you enable or disable automatic media syncing. For this project, I'm going to select Sync Proxies Only. This option allows compatible devices such as the iPhone that is running the new Blackmagic camera app to have access and load media into this project. Let's allow remote camera access so I can demonstrate this later. After the project has been created, head over to the project settings and under Blackmagic Cloud section, here you can select the codec and format of your proxies. If you are done, click Save to apply your changes. I'll start importing some media over to my media pool. Upon import, proxies will start generating automatically. You will also see a queue for upload icon. Once the proxies are done generating, the upload will begin. If you have set the proxy handling to prefer proxies, you will see the proxy badge appear on the thumbnails. You can also click on the cloud icon on the bottom right hand corner of the interface to review the status of your media sync, the account details and quick options to pause, resume syncing, enable or disable multi-user collaboration, enable or disable camera capture. The last two icons opens up the settings and the Blackmagic Cloud Storage web app. Now that my proxies are uploaded in the Blackmagic Cloud Storage, members that are invited into the project library can also access and download these proxies. There's also another way you can upload your media files into Blackmagic Cloud Storage. The new Blackmagic camera app compatible with devices such as the iPhone could do so as well. Let's try uploading a file from an iPhone directly into the cloud project using the Blackmagic camera app. Open the Blackmagic camera app and sign in to your Blackmagic Cloud account ensure that the account is a member of the project library. Click on the sidebar to review the available projects. As I have previously enabled Allow Remote Camera Access, I now see My Awesome Project as one of the available projects to upload to. I could either head into the camera tab and record a clip straight from the device, or I can press the gallery button to choose a clip in my gallery to upload to the project. Let's try uploading a clip from the gallery. You can see that it is uploading the proxy right now. Once the proxies are uploaded, your editors back in the studio could access the project, download proxies and start working while collaborators are still on set. Let's head into my studio computer now and see how this looks like. My computer is also running DaVinci Resolve 18.6 and I have signed in as a member of the project library in the Cloud tab. Clicking into My Awesome Project, a window pops up the first time you open this project. Firstly, I'll choose the location that I want my media to be stored. Secondly, I'm going to select Sync Proxies Only. Click Open. In the media pool here, I can see that the proxies are beginning to download and I can check the progress of that in the cloud icon over here at the bottom right hand corner of the interface. In the media pool, 
there is also a new bin that is automatically created called camera uploads. This contains the files that have been uploaded through the camera app. I could then begin my job as an editor to create a timeline and start working with the proxies. This opens up a new workflow where you can have collaborators on set uploading media they have just recorded. This enables the editing team to start working on the media files almost immediately. Hope this video is useful in showing you how to set up your projects for media syncing with Blackmagic Cloud. For more information, please visit blackmagicdesign.com. Thank you.